the greatest investment is not having a house. It's not buying a land. The greatest investment you can ever do is to build people. When you invest in people, they don't care how much they give you. If Saul had built David, he would have lived longer. The greatest investment is seeing somebody who has a potential, investing in them, knowing that they have a future. I know you tell me that people are ungrateful, but one person's gratefulness can undo all ungratefulness. Jacob had 12 children, but it took only Joseph to change the whole family. Even though the others were fighting, bickering, and you know, it took only one. You are the one that can bring the change. Even God, when he created the heavens and the earth, first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, in order for him to rest on the seventh day, the next thing he did was to create or make Adam and Eve. And the day Adam and Eve landed on this earth, God went to rest. Now you can never rest until you get your copy. And when I say rest, please, I don't mean sleeping. Let me tell you this. If you don't work hard when you are young, you work hard when you are old. No matter what you work. When you have energy, you work. But if you don't work hard when you are young, you keep sleeping as a young man and a young woman. When you are 70, you be carrying concrete. That time you don't have the energy. You use the energy for sleeping. Because you decided to rest instead of working. God only rested after he has finished work. God had to create somebody to replace him before he had to rest. Success is a formula, so is poverty. For God to rest, he had to stop doing what he was doing for somebody to do what he was doing. That is why when Jesus was leaving, he called the disciples, Matthew 28, he said, go into the world and make disciples. You see, if you succeed alone in your family, you are in trouble. All the witches will come after you. The, the one that needs soap will come. The one that needs new hair will come. School fees will come. All these people will come because you are the only succeeding person in the family. But if you make others succeed, the pressure of the people will be lifted from you. Now the issue is that whenever you have somebody who can do what you would do, you are giving yourself room for rest. Who is replacing you? Who are you building? Any success that cannot be duplicated is not real success.